going to extract hormones. Rest of the ten mils for step four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no <laughs> knowledge about any of this. So can you explain me what is it? What is it? <laughs> now we start with, uh, with this in February. So this is the blue room, and here's Urs. This is Peter. This is Urs. He's Hello. A, he's, a, he's becoming a YouTuber. Yes. He already is a YouTuber. He already is a yeah, YouTuber. Already. <laughs> but you know, I'm, I'm nothing. It's really about this, of course. Yeah, so. Of course uh. so what's happening here? PCR. Currently, it's a pile of stuff inside. Well, it is working supposedly. We just need to put it in a box. It's a 3D printed uh, uh, holder for the for oh. the tubes. Because uh, what people have been doing before is milling it. <coughs> exactly. That. Well, this one is not so cool, here, but milling it from a piece of aluminium. Here and here, slide. There's a uh, fungi uh, material over okay. there. Hmm. Okay. Let me have a look here. Uh, mm -hmm. What's going on? So, a lot of bacteria stuff. And microscope. Electro wetting over here, pop up lab. I think they've been here for a couple of days now, right? Looks like it. Yeah. And what's this? I think this is moss that you can use to generate sound. It's a theremin board, so okay. it's like a keyboard then for sound, but I think it's not connected at the moment. Some biohacking inspiration. It's more over there. Electro lab and electronics. Here are the ideas for the uh, sessions we're gonna do. So you can write down ideas you have. Uh -huh. Interest you have. Or, Ooh, it's a real bus. Uh, um, Hello, everybody in the bus. Hello. Would you like to be on the internet? Hey, this is uh, this is the bento lab. This is the bento lab. <laughs> All right, so we had a little tour, and now it's time for some action. We're going to extract hormones from urine, and for that we need some bottles, so we need to prepare them. And we're going to use it as an extraction column to extract hormones from our pee that probably will not contain estrogen at least. So here we're going to do the workshop. Yes. Peter, are you excited? Yes, on the yeah. How excited yeah. are you on a scale from <laughs> 0 to 10? Uh, no, 7 and a half. <laughs> Something new is always fun. Basically, here are the things that you need, blah blah blah. And this is the DIY um, column construction. But um, I decided to bring less hardware with me, so I actually just have the... Um, the real thing. This is what the laboratories use. Okay, but it works fine. But this DIY construction, you're using these angle brackets, really easy to find hardware, and some metal rods, and that's it, and zip ties. But this is the, uh, the lab version. So then, we're gonna skip the column construction and go straight to the urine extraction. But first, we have to hack this bottle. So you have this bottle here. We're just gonna cut the top off of it using ah. this. Uh, oh yeah! Bottle it's <laughs> so cool. So have you used this before? No. So okay. punk rock. <laughs> yeah. So there's a blade right here. Yeah. And it's okay to touch it. It's fine. Oh. And what you're gonna do is just rotate the bottle 360, and you're gonna make a line basically, and try to make it as straight as possible, and so one end should meet the other end. Sounds doable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like there's, yeah, because glass is amorphous. Yeah. Right on. Like Perfect. This. So let's go to the kitchen now and get some hot water boiling. You have a. Uh, is that urine? That's urine, and this okay. is. Uh, and don't mix them up. <laughs> don't mix them up. Let's look for the toilet. <laughs> you need an empty bottle? Yep. Why do we need hot water again? <laughs> um, well, because of the thermal extension, and then by cooling it down, yeah, the the glass will uh, shrink again. It's, um, at some point, will crack. So, who wants to break their bottle first? Maybe you can pair up because one person needs to pour the hot water. The other person's going to turn the bottle around. <laughs> Yeah. 
Science! <laughs> so, yeah. so what did you just do with the bottle? Uh, cut it with a special tool, heated it up and cooled it down. So it, Or you uh, just get in a fight and just break it on yeah. the bar and it's then be like, easier. I'm gonna kill you and then I'm gonna do an extraction. <laughs> Next step from having the bottle is making a filter. And we're gonna test which cigarette filter is suitable for catching the hormones. Yeah. And this brand, the filters are okay, so I have to peel them apart and put them in there. Uh, the ones that dissolved are the right ones, right? Yeah. So these are almost completely dissolved. Pure cellulose acetone. Yeah. Once we tested the acetone, and acetone should dissolve. And try to get all around. Yeah. What are we doing now, Peter? Yeah. Preparing the column by washing it with what's, what's the liquid? Methanol. I wasn't there though. Who presented it? Uh, Byron presented it. Yeah. That's why I went this is the uh, end result. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. after the oh, urine came off the column, uh, they evaporated the methanol, and because this is what it's, it it's left. Uh, so these are the hormones. You can actually smell them. If only YouTube would be the smell tube. <laughs> But you can use this as well, these are hormones, so you can maybe use them as, as a gender change therapy. I don't know how it works, but maybe you can just inject it. I'm Peter and I work at Waag Society, I'm a program manager, so... And at Waag, uh, yeah, we are an institute, so let's, yeah, let's be completely upfront about it. Uh, we're 60 people, uh, uh, Institute for Art, Science and Technology, and we want technology to be open, fair and inclusive. Uh, in the vlogs I try to cover a number of topics, uh, but I'm uh, trying to find out or illustrate what is the year by bio, which is often a difficult thing to understand. Uh, and also I believe that most people don't really read that much anymore, so video is a much more suitable medium to reach out to people, especially also Paul's Maybe you should have very little time. And it's also a more personal approach to make videos uh, about uh, what you're doing. Especially, for example, if you try to email people and... Uh, I don't know if you've been watching these, these videos that we made. Uh, who, who saw a video in, in the channel? Oh, quite a lot of people. Uh, we started uh, with this in February. So as you've seen the video more time often than I did. Uh, we started out with a bit, bit, big planning for this policy brief, uh, split interfaces, discovery uh, phase problem, identification solutions, also writing 